Gamer Wingy here. <laughs> I nearly used my old gamer to my uh, old uh, YouTube name then. <laughs> it's Gamer Wingy here, and welcome back to PVZ Heroes Daily. So, as you might be able to hear, I'm actually trialing something different today. Instead of using the in game music, because that doesn't seem to work very well at the minute, I don't know why, but it doesn't. I'm actually using some music off of Spotify. Now the user that I am playing, that I've got playing, is called Tobu. He's uh, he does a lot of um, I can't think of the word. He does a lot of cinematic -y type songs, um, and a lot of sort of gameplay type music. Think that like things that you could have in the back soundtrack music for the background. A lot of things like that, and it's all free. And you can, if you want to check him out, I will leave his details down in the description. But anyway, let's get straight into this video. So today we are playing Event Rumpus, which is where we are actually using the one that we have been given for the week. Which is the Sham Rocket. With Triassic Triumph, Fusion Zombies, the Secret Slut Aperture's deck can be explosively fast. If your zombies get to 4 strength or more, watch out for Sham Rocket. Oh wait, no, so we're, using, we're actually playing against it. So this could be interesting. We're actually playing against the Sham Rocket. <laughs> so this is the event rumpus, guys! Let's go! And at the end of all of this, we get a free pack. Because we've completed all seven of the daily challenges. Which actually means this is the seventh episode. I oh, can't believe that. We've been going for a week. And you guys have given me so much support. I've seen several comments. I've seen... Uh, Lots of people watching my videos, and I just want to take the time to say it really does mean the world to me. I really appreciate it that my videos are really entertaining you guys. So, looks like we've got a gourmet going on here, I mean the cheese cutter. Whoa, there's some proper lag. When this hurts the plant hero, contra a gourmet card, and it costs one less. <laughs> he just wasted that. What a waste. All six of that damage only go into that little cheese cutter. That's it. You throw the cheese, then he explodes. <laughs> oh, we got a plan for next turn anyway. Fusion. Conjure a legendary card and it costs one less. This is possibly one of my... This is one of my favourite legendary cards. Because you get a legendary. Actually, I'm not even sure that one is a legendary. I can't see now. Ooh, we've got a Mondo Bronto. Dino Rory's gets plus one, plus one, and destroy all plants here. Which is very interesting. Uh, case, in, case in point. I mean, we're going to be possibly down on the next round because I think we might have to concede this one because we've only really got the laser base. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, no, we'll play this. <laughs> we'll play it because I can put something in the water next turn. Okay. I got it. Ha ha. <laughs> Uh, secret Saboteur! I've used my secret... Super Secret Agent! Because that helped. So... How do we want to tackle this? Um, I would very much say that we're going to put this in this corner. <laughs> and then this one over here. I'm not really using the fusion of those two at the minute because I don't feel like I want to put anything in that lane. Oh! Forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about the sham rocket. I'm pretty sure. I mean, he was a very good chance of starting with that. So my plan is to potentially just leave the uh, pear cub in that lane at the end, because if we kill it, it'll turn into a five-four grizzly pear, which is a lot worse to deal with. So I'm actually going to play this now, with the intention of playing either the laser base or the galvanize superpower. We'll see. Ooh, that's not nice. <laughs> that's not nice. Is it going to be a 3-6 a, a, a Walmart? No? Okay, good. <laughs> good. Um, I'm going to play that there. I want to be getting that deadly strike through when I play my uh, Bronto. Which is coming out next turn! I shouldn't even... Oh, no, I should I can. I could potentially have this card. Ooh! Better idea. <laughs> better plan. <laughs> Please don't say you've got another sham rocket. Please don't say you've got another sham rocket. Please. I don't want to see a sham rocket. Oh, he's going to have one, isn't he? <laughs> he's going to have one. 
I just want to get a hit off. Because when they turn the plant here, it moves to a random lane and leaves behind a random zombie. And he had a sham rocket. Ah! Ah, you're killing me! How many of these things do you have in that in your hand? I didn't even realise he was going to have so many in his hand. I know there can be four in the deck, but uh, yeah, we'll keep that. Looks like we're going with the Bronto! Yep, Bronto it is. And I'll play this one in the hopes that I can bonus... That I can... Uh, if I can hit him uncontested, we can draw a card and destroy that Cosmic Nut with the Mondo Brontos ability. <sighs> I don't really know. We're actually doing quite badly. Oh no, are we going to fail this? I don't know. Have we actually failed one of these challenges yet this week? That's the question worth asking. Oh, I'm, gal I'm galvanising. <laughs> I'm galvanising. That Bronto is getting the powerhouse buff of the century. Powerhouse. And you know what? I'm going to bounce something. Because it's getting a bit crowded here. That was the worst one. It literally couldn't have been any worse. <laughs> that couldn't have been any worse. That was the one that I didn't want to get bounced. Ooh. Good. He's blocked that. Because if I can block these... I mean, this has got deadly. This can destroy a plant. So my thinking being, if we simply do... Oh, we can destroy them both, can't we? Nah, but I want to keep a uh, blocker of some kind up there. So I'm going to destroy that. And I'm actually going to tend to leave the Cosmic Knot there. Because I don't think he can gain two strength. Even in this turn. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> it will now, won't it? Uh... Hmm... He's just managed to screw us over. Oh, I didn't account for that. Ah, and we actually possibly, we, we possibly could have saved ourselves. Really? No. We actually failed this. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a moment to retry. Okay, we are back and we're ready to retry. And this time, it's going to be a lot better. I promise you this. <clears throat> Actually, I, I can't really promise that. <laughs> I hope it is. Uh, we got this one this time. I think it's difficult, though, because the Sham Rocket makes it extremely hard to work around. It, the Secret Saboteur's deck kind of works around... Ooh, that's a very nice set. Kind of works around having the... Um, what do you call it? Secret Agent to use. But if you do that, you end up getting the zombie destroyed when you play it again. Because the Sham Rocket can destroy the ones four or more. So it's a bit of a difficult balance, really. I think we might struggle with this one. Oh, this is, a, this is not a bad cat. That's not a bad shout, is it? Let's see what legendary we get. Ooh, actually, that that is very nice because they deal double. All of the cards, our cards, deal double damage, but they don't actually get the, the uh, strength bonus. Of, they don't actually. So if this one deals six, doesn't actually get three um, six as its strength. Its actual strength still stays as three, <laughs> which is pretty good. <clears throat> so what do we get? Ooh, and again, we've got, we got another one that's less than four strength, which I think might actually be the key. I mean, Space Cowboy is amazing. <laughs> Space Cowboy is great. Yeah, that's fine. i got many more cards than you have. I keep drawing them. Hmm. Not a bad start, um, th all together. We're actually, uh, we're up one point. Well, we're actually up three points, but not point. Huh, <laughs> point. Now I'm actually going to play this one here. Because hopefully I can attack and move to... Uh, this This has got a very, very good gimmick. This zombie moves to the right when it hurts the plant hero. Which basically means it can keep uh, hurting the hero and moving. Depending when he's going to block. So look at that. Great against an empty board. Oh, what a shame. Okay, well, next turn. So I kind of want to be leaving the rest of it empty. In fact, I'm actually going to play this one. But I'm playing the binary stars. <laughs> the thing is, I shouldn't even normally have a binary stars. Uh, Brain Freeze doesn't actually have the uh, cl crazy class, which means he can't have that card, but we conjured it. See, this, this, um, For those of you who don't know, I'm going to explain now the difference between drawing and conjuring cards. If you draw a card, you simply get one out of your deck. <clears throat> oh, he's going to die. You simply get one out of the odd... Uh, you simply get the next card out of your deck, or a specific card. If you're conjuring a card, 
you can say if you're conjuring, in my case it was conjure a legendary card on the first, what was it that, what was it that had that? The buried treasure had conjure a legendary card. So in that case it just gets a legendary card from the entire database and you get that. So for example I got the binary stars which I wouldn't normally have because it doesn't matter what, what classes you're allowed, you can have any card from that set. So for example any card from the legendary set. Which is why I really, really like the conjuring mechanic. I think it's really good. No! No! Oh! That lowers the... T oh, that lowers it down a bit, doesn't it? We can move, of course. And then we'll die. Aha! Oh, what's it going to leave behind? Oh, this doesn't happen very often. Oh, it's on that. Is that it? <laughs> is that... Is that Oh, it leaves. It moves to a random lane and leaves behind a random zombie. So it could be anything. We could have got a zombie, and that'd have been that. Um. Do you know what? I am gonna play two cheese cutters. And this thing, <laughs> and that way we are not dying this turn. And then, oh wait, I miscalculated that. <laughs> I meant to play, to leave something to play this one. Plank is minus two, minus two. Although Acid Rain should work just as well. I just realised that's actually Acid Rain, and it's not the all zombies get deadly like I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know why I've misunderstood it like that. Right. This is going to be the one, guys. This is going to be the one. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's fine. Come on. I'm, a, I'm a planning to do more than two damage to you. There we go. Okay, so we have just got rid of the Dandelion King and opened up another route. So he can now hit him twice this turn, which means that provided he doesn't have something to stop me. Yes, that's it. GG, guys. GG. That's going to be the game. Oh, we even get the Grizzly Pear, the grizzly pear coming out at the end. GG. Second time's the charm. Never mind three. We only needed two. So, I actually am impressed we failed that. We had a really bad start. This time, we just got all the cards we needed. <clears throat> so. I'm just going to turn this to off. Are you ready? For the moment we've all been waiting for. The premium pack. What are we going to get? One, two, three, four, five. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, we, have, we improved the pain in the, de in the deck one, but I didn't get anything new. Oh, shame. I actually think I've got quite a lot. Besides the legendaries, I think I have a lot of the premium set. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel um, the next event we'll see thing, I think that starts today. No, that, no, that, no, the new weekly event, and I'm pretty sure it's Spyris. Oh, no. Hold on. It wasn't Shamrocket this week. Oh, it's going to be Shamrocket next week. Right, so later on, it, the uh, Shamrocket week will start, which means tomorrow morning we should probably be doing... Is it Sneak Peek? I don't know if it's Sneak Peek on a Tuesday, on a uh, Monday evening. Anyway, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like to the video. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know whenever one of my videos comes out. Uh, and come back tomorrow for a brand new daily challenge. But until then... See you guys later.